Hey folks, how you doing? We're going to be doing a video today of making MC4 connectors for solar. We're going to be using 10, 10 gauge wire, or 10 aug PV cable. All right. And the tools we're going to be using, all right, first of all, to cut the cable, I got a pair of uh, clients. Um, not sure the number on them, but these cut the cable nice and straight. So it's not doesn't leave a bird in on this. It cuts it straight. And it, this will cut up cut up the two alt cable. All right. Okay. Also, I'll be using my Klein strippers right here. And these will do up to like a ten gauge for good for PV cable. I love the automatic strippers. Flying catapults. All right. So, and right here is our PV MC4 MC4 connectors. And right here, you got two different two different sizes right here. The small the smaller one would be your 12 gauge. We'll go right here. Then your 10 right here, and your eight right here. See the different size openings? All right. Also, it's cool how these things work. It's magnetic. This will flip out. Your ends will actually go in here, this part right here. So, for example, you got the female end. So, big that, see that puppy right there? That'll go in here like this. It just slides right in here, like that. And this magnetic, uh, this piece right here, actually holds the connector. <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually holds the connector in there. That's the way you want it. All right, for example, just like that. See, it holds it in place. See? Okay. So, if we put that puppy back in there like that, we'll slide this in like that. And just you crimp down your wire, and these, and these lock in place, so it's pretty pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, so all right, let's let's do a couple. Let's do a couple. All right. Okay, folks. All right, check this out, y'all. We're gonna cut our cut our cable, and these are awesome. All right, look. I mean, these just a good straight cut. Watch this. Okay. Look at look at that cut. I mean, it don't get any better than that. Look at that. It's not all. If you use a regular set of clines or cutters, this actually cuts it nice and straight. So it's not all that. It's not all cut and uh, with a regular set of cutters. All right. Okay. What we need to do is right here. So you see the length. This right here is all you need to strip off. So about a quarter inch. Yeah, I see about a quarter inch. So, quarter inch. Quarter inch is all you need to cut off. Okay? So, so we can mark it. You don't have to, I'm just a perfectionist. Right there, quarter inch. Okay, take your pair of clients or whatever you got and sink 10 gauge up in there like that. Okay. Okay, y'all with me? Those are the bomb. All right, and this is our 
this is our female connection right here. See how that fits in there like that? Okay. Now you want to take it right here. Take these, this tool right here. Slip them in here like that. That is the number 10. All right, let's get a better angle, y'all. Okay. Okay, folks, we've got our AMC4 connectors right here. And what we're gonna do is take this in here. This is number 10 right here, this middle one. We'll put it in there. Slide it in there. Okay. All right, like that. That's what we want right there. Okay. Take your number ten. Slip in there like that. Yeah, quarter inch in, and you just crimp. Okay, and you keep on crimping, and it locks it in place. It's, it doesn't, these, these don't come unlocked to get, to get it done. All right. And there you go. Got a perfect crump right here. Y'all see that? That's how you want it. All right. And let's see here. This will be this end right here. So right here, it's a female end right here. Okay, unscrew this right here. Some of them are different. This has a rubber boot right here. So y'all see that rubber, rubber boot in there? Yes, okay, put this in on first right here, like that. And you got this, wham. And that should click into place. All right. You hear that click? There she goes. She's clicked in place. Now, you take this right here. And you screw it, screw it on the best you can. There you go. There she is in there. She's ready to rock and roll. And one more click. You can actually put a wrench on there if you want to. It's got that place for a wrench on these style anyway. All right. Now let's do it. another one. All right. Mercy, a quarter inch. Quarter inch. So that's where we're gonna go right here. Quarter inch. I like to mark. You don't have to mark it, but what the hey? Measure quarter inch. So I'm off a little bit. Wire strippers, set it to 10 gauge, right here. There we go. And this will be our male, male oh, fitting right here. See how small that is? All right. Now what we'll do, Put in the same hole right here. Right here. 
excited as y'all. And it's, this holds it in place right here. See that? All right. Now we'll take our wire, number 10, and we'll just crump. And you hear it locking. And it releases. There we go. Got a perfect crump. See that? That's the way it's supposed to look. And we got plenty. Of, you want you want wire coming through there. You want wire. Definitely want wire coming through there. That's why I do a quarter inch. Okay, now I'm gonna take this fitting right here. This is for demonstration purposes. You got the rubber boot in here. Right there. It's a rubber boot in there for making it waterproof. Alright, now we'll take it like this. Slip it on there. You can twist if you want until it clicks. Alright. Now you just run up now you just run these up on there. This nut. And you hear it click. There she is. Right here y'all. We got an MC4 connectors right here. We got our got our female connection right here, and got our male. Now watch this. There we go. Good tidy fit. I'm gonna take it apart. There you go. There she is, y'all. That's all there is to it. But I like to put dielectric grease. I'll show you what I mean by dielectric grease. Here you go, y'all. This is 3M silicone paste. Car care. Silicone paste or dielectric grease. See that? If you're around water, any kind of corrosion, you need battery terminals, I don't care what it is. P, uh, PV, MC4 connectors, need dielectric grease. All right, that is the best stuff in the world. Take a little dab right here. Let's see which, take a little dab right here and just Right there. That's nice. more than a dab, but y'all get the picture. I use on all my connections. And you take a little bit of dielectric grease right there. Wham. Waterproof connection. You won't have any kind of problem with any kind of corrosion or water getting your terminals and corroding them. There you go. It'll be there, it'll be there forever. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, that's how it is to make MC4 connections. You got a waterproof seal. So, waterproof seal. You got your boot right there, your, your grommet right there. That'll help everything out. So, there we go. All right. Okay, um, for the record, I'm going to use a tape measure, dielectric grease. These are a set of 63, 63, 60, 63,090 Klein pliers. You can't beat these tools for cutting cable. Anywhere from, uh, anywhere from small cable on up to 2 alt. 
That's why I use my battery cables also. Bad, you know, battery cables. These are a set of uh, complements of uh, old Tony at Hurricane Wind Power. Uh, he sent me these PV pliers. They're nice. They're nice. They're not the real high dollar ones, but hey, they get the job done. Uh, just saying they make better ones out there, but there's nothing wrong with these. I mean, magnetic, where your ends spit in, your male female ends spit in, a great crimping tool. You just make sure you want to get them lined up in there, right? Up, straight, they'll do you straight up and down, up in here, or either, 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 either or. And these are this is for number 12, 10, and 8. Is what the, the, these are made for. All right. And I like a set of Klein catapult, Klein tool, just 11 0 63. Great, great tool. Awesome. Good to have. All right. And a marker. Uh, I use a silver, metallic silver marker on block. All right. Okay. Hey, y'all. I want to say thank you for watching my video. I'm making MC4 connectors for solar. And I just want to let you know, there's some great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify. Hoorah. Y'all take care now. All right. Bye-bye.